talked to the members of our medical community and the question this morning is would you know what to do if you or someone you were with were suffering a stroke and Claire Corbett is here she's the stroke program manager of New Hanover County Regional Medical Center thank you for joining us sure thanks uh, for we having were me talking a little bit while Gannon was doing the weather to get in no disrespect to you but uh, just the first thing I had asked was is this age specific and I was surprised when you said not really but maybe it skewed a little bit more towards women well, women do have a few more strokes than men do, and also, although people think of this as a disease of the elderly, about half the strokes are at the age 65 and under. Wow. That, that, you kind of caught me off guard with that yeah. one. I mean, being 46, I guess I'm in the wheelhouse of that. You are, and it's important for everybody in North Carolina to know also that we are in the buckle of the stroke belt, so we've got the highest incidence of stroke and the highest mortality from stroke in the country. And you were saying that one of the biggest cautions is sooner than later pick up the phone and call 911 that's right most strokes are caused by a blockage of an artery and we do have a clot busting drug but we can only give that drug up to three hours after onset of symptoms so we need people to call 911 right away there is a uh, method to remember how to recognize stroke and that's called fast uh, f-a-s-t the f stands for facial droop so somebody's face on one side may droop down okay a stands for arm so it's arm weakness so if somebody holds out their arms one arm may droop down S stands for speech, so that would be difficulty speaking, slurred speech, inability to speak, and then T is for time, to call 911 right away. When, when people at home or wherever you're at and you, you seem to have a symptom like this, is the biggest error that, you know, I've had this before, it'll go away. You know, my, my arm has done this absolutely, before. Absolutely, absolutely. Strokes doesn't usually have pain, so people don't think to call 911 right away, but it's, it's of utmost importance that people do call 911. You can even make the decision to stay home after paramedics get there, or luckily maybe you can be discharged from the ER, but you don't want to take that risk of not being able to be treated. And if you are treated within that time frame, yes. how likely is it that the condition, I don't, I don't want to say is favorable, but that you, that you can be a little bit proactive? The sooner you can get the clot busting medication, the more likely you are to have a better outcome. It all depends on the size of the stroke. Um, but the worst thing we can do is not be able to treat you, then we have very little that we can do to help with um, your outcome. Okay, Claire, I appreciate it again. I always say if you have questions, don't email or call me. You always want to seek a medical professional. Claire, I appreciate